The Ocellaris clownfish, also known as Nemo, inhabits the coral reef ecosystems of the tropical and subtropical West Indo-Pacific. They can be found in different colors depending on their location. They have three distinctive white bars on their body. They rely on stinging sea anemones for shelter. When inhabiting a new anemone, clownfish will gently touch the tentacles with different parts of their body until they are acclimated to their host. A layer of mucus on the clownfish's skin makes it immune to the anemone's sting. The clownfish and anemone have a mutualistic symbiotic relationship. The clownfish drives off intruders and rids its host of parasites. The anemone provides safety from predators and food scraps. Clownfish also feed on plankton and algae. All clownfish are born male. They are protandrous hermaphrodites, which means that all fish begin as males and have the ability to change into females as they grow older. Clownfish are highly territorial. They form monogamous pairs. The female is the dominant and largest member of the pair. If the female is removed, the male will change into a female. Clownfish lay their eggs on a rock close to their sea anemone. The male tends to the eggs. The eggs develop in around 8 days depending on the temperature. Larvae are dispersed into the open ocean. The larval phase is 10 to 15 days. Juvenile clownfish detect their host sea anemone by using their sense of smell. Ocellaris clownfish can grow to about 4 inches long. Because of their beauty and small size, clownfish have a high demand in the international market as an ornamental fish for marine aquariums. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.